Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nikopara. So, in the last episode we found out that we have chronic fatigue. And then, we were hugging and Chakla just came up and saw it and say we were cuddling. We weren't cuddling, we we're hugging. Do what? What do you think we're doing? We're hugging. Special right? I mean, to hug? I mean, you... Uh... Okay. What? That's weird. Oh, you both want it? Oh. Yeah, this is, I don't think it's good for my health. Hey, wait, the three of you at once is too heavy. So heavy. But, but that's the truth. You're, all three of you are heavy. What? Relatively light. No, I, I don't want to suffer through it. Too heavy. Gah. Well, wait. I'm the sick person here. The weight of the love. Love. From the three of them gave no mercy. It's like wrestling. No mercy. Chaka also loves you. Misama, I love you. I may also moderately love you. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Shigure has some weird sister love affection thing for me. Oh, you don't have to worry about chocolate and vanilla, Shigure. They'll probably do fine. Nothing to fear. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, sorry I can't see you out. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Shigure gave a little wave of her hand as the door closed, hiding her from view. Ah. Uh, I sank into the nearby sofa. Oh? So you couldn't get up. Now that Shigure was gone... That seems... Hmm, what are you thinking? I could drop the front I'd been putting up to keep her from worrying. Oh? I was keeping a front to not worry Shigure? Oh man, how... How fatigued am I? I'm super duper exhausted. I'm fine. It was just tiring to be standing, that's all. You're not fine, Kasho. Chocolate and Vanilla both looked at me worriedly. I forced a smile as I answered. Don't make those faces now. Once I sleep a little, I'll be better. Don't worry. Uh, maybe it's more than just sleep. Yuri said so too, didn't she? I petted both their heads. I think I do, but... I don't think I will or want to. Yeah, you try do that. Not bad enough for that, okay? Are you sure? 
Plus, we finally got customers that come here now. What does that have to do with your health? You want to die? Casho, huh? How would it look if an ambulance stopped in front of the bakery? So, your health versus your health and, you know, dying versus what customers think. When you're dead, there'll be no customers. You guys can't see it, but I was using my hands as a, as a scale. Up and down. Yeah, these two are really worried about me. Their faces, already clouded with worry, darkened more. Their mouths were slightly agape as if to say more. But they swallowed their words and bowed their heads. Oh, you understand perfectly though. Oh, you mean the bad reasons I'm giving you? Don't be silly, it's not something you need to apologize for. I pulled the two close as their faces became tearful. I hated not being able to put my feelings into words. Holding them to my chest, I squeezed them tightly. Aw, are they crying? Aww. Aww, thank you. Huh, it is kind of like before. You know, when those two were suffering, but all we could do was watch. Um, water. Lots of water. They tightly squeezed back. Their honest feelings were warm like the heat from their bodies. Hmm? What's this? Okay. Huh. Ah, I understand. Family, partners, it might be something like this. I closed my eyes, savoring the warmth of my beloved cat girls. If I wasn't careful, I might break down crying from the pure kindness that filled my heart. Then, stay by my side. Aww. Now Kasha understands. If you two are with me, that's enough. Aww, thanks. Really? They hugged me even more tightly. And I hugged them back with all my strength. Ah, thank you. I'm no longer just one person. What? But you're one person. I need to get well quickly so I don't worry them any more than I already have. Yeah, you should probably just go back into bed right now. With that foremost in my thought, I lost track of time. What? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, uh, uh. I don't sound too good. You were getting worse. I should probably, you know, go to the hospital. Call an ambulance. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you don't want to overdose there. The clock had just struck midnight. Aww. You're still awake. 
All we could do as Master groaned in pain was wipe his face with a towel and hold his hands for comfort. It is frustrating. When, when you can't do anything, but you want to do something, you know? Chaco, la, van, la. Oh, no matter how much we wanted to help, there was nothing we could do. It was so frustrating, we wanted to cry. That big, strong hand we'd always replied upon, ripped ours back weakly now. It was heartbreaking. Um... Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, you can call the ambulance. No one's here. And Asho's like knocked out, kind of. Huh. Um. Eat the hospital? Wait, 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 but that's a, a... I think that was an animal hospital, though. That's... I think it is an animal hospital. That's that's kind of different, Chocola. Oh. Oh, this isn't good. I don't think they're gonna go to the right one and go to that one. Don't go, it's not the right one. Nodding together, we stood up. Oh,no。後でいくらでも謝るから。好きな人が苦しんでるのに黙っていられない。待っててくださいね。ご主人様。すぐにお医者さん呼んできますから。You call, call doctor right now on the telephone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of, you know, Chocolate and Vanilla worrying about us. And we will see in the next episode if they will find the clinic open and hopefully actually find someone or go to, uh, or find an actual hospital to get help. But anyways, we'll see that in the next episode, everybody. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!